All right, so there's definitely someone here who's not wanting to take a risk of reconciling with the other person out here. Could be a third party situation, could be you, could be them. Someone's put the other person in the third party, okay? And now the other person here is not wanting to take a risk, okay? It's like I'm literally hearing, I don't want to be a fool again, okay? Um, could be unrequited love out here, okay? Or someone could have friends on you, is also what I'm getting. Yeah, but now there's one person here, could be you, Cancer, who's just not wanting to move forward with the connection, not wanting to take a leap of faith, okay, with this person out here. Because you have trust issues. This person could have put you through hell and back. Okay. Um, how do you see yourself in this connection, Cancer, if you are on this side? How, does, how do you see yourself in this connection? Six of Swords in reverse with the chariot here. You're having a hard time moving on from this person. Cancer, that's you. With the chariot here and the Six of Swords in reverse here. You're stuck on this person, okay? You're stuck on this person. I feel you want to move forward, okay? The chariot is also, you could be living at a distance from this person here, okay? I think you want to move forward to this person here, okay? You want to take things uh, to the next level with this person here. But with the six of swords in reverse here, there's something that's stopping you, okay? You're stuck on a particular mindset is also what I'm getting. You're going against the current. You're not going with the flow, okay? And to go with the flow, you know and you realize that there's something that needs to be done, okay? Which is outside your comfort zone. But you're not being able to do that. See, two of pentacles here. You're in two minds. Whether you should move on or whether you should be stuck on this person here. But if you want to move on, you can. Because with the chariot here, if you want to make something successful, especially with the chariot coming here, willingness, determination are the only two things which are going to help you. Okay, The chariot is going in the right direction. You're in the right path if you want to move away or move forward here. Okay, but with the six of swords in reverse, you're something stopping you. Okay, you're going against the current. You're repeating the same cycle again. Probably in the past also, you could have done this. Um, okay, tell me how does this person see themselves in this connection? Ten of swords with the eight of pentacles in reverse here. This person feels very backstabbed, betrayed, and cheated by you, Cancer. Or this could be you on the other side here. And with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, this person feels something was a waste of time. They invested their time, energy, and effort into a situation, given their 120%, and got nothing back in return. And now they feel like stabbed in the back. This person is not investing into this connection at all anymore. I feel this person could have given in that all, okay? Only to find out that they were they were um, taken advantage of, okay? But something ended badly here. So for this person here with the Ten of Swords here, something's ended badly. Something backfired, okay? Now this could also be the person you're dealing with, okay? Who's stuck on you, you know? And they want to move forward, okay? They want to come towards you, okay? With that willingness, that de 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 This is someone who's... Uh, wanting to win on an energetic level okay the person on this side yeah they're stuck on you this person on the other side here cancer if this is you you feel betrayed by this person okay something ended badly and with eight of pentacles in reverse here you just felt like your hard work was a waste of time okay something that you put in your 100 percent into just didn't work out the way you expected it to or you just didn't get the fruits of your labor okay All right, tell me, how does Cancer view this person? How does Cancer view this person? You view this person as someone who sabotages the connection. Give it one card. You view this person as someone who sabotages the connection. with the temperance in reverse so you view them as someone who's not in alignment with you okay this person could be someone who lacks spirituality you know 
This is someone who overindulges, could be overindulging into alcohol or could be overdoing things. But this is someone who lacks patience. That's how you see them. You see them as someone who's just uh, wanting to um, like get things done like yesterday. Okay, Temperance in reverse is someone who's not being able to um, be in moderation. You see this person as someone, I think so with the five of swords, this is um, someone who sabotages the connection. This person probably wants you, okay, but they have a tendency of pushing you away, okay, because their guards are up. They're heavily guarded, okay, that's how you see them. You see them as someone, you know, who's not being very honest and real with their feelings. And this is someone who resists the flow, okay, they try to control the outcome. And this person could be having... A lot of emotional issues also but you do see them as someone you know who just you don't mesh with this person okay you don't this person lacks self-control they're not on the same wavelength that you are in tell me how does this person you cancel how does this person you cancel person views you with the ace of wands in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse this person probably views you as someone who probably has lost interest in them okay but at the same time not even being able to walk away from the connection which is true right because you're coming up as the six of swords in reverse here you're stuck on them they know that they do view you as someone you know who's probably even trying to walk away from their emotions you know who's trying to escape their emotions but they see you as someone who's wanting to return back but not taking action towards them okay See seven of cups here. They view you as they view you as someone who's very, very confused about what's going on in the connection. What action will cancer take towards this person moving forward? restless okay with the world here and a four of swords in reverse here i think you're restless okay you're wanting to come out of isolation and talk to this person here you're wanting to do this very badly and with the world here i think you're closing out a chapter with this person i think you want closure you know i think you want closure here that's why with the six of swords in reverse and charity i think you want to move away you're determined to move away from this person but somehow somehow mentally and physically you are stuck on not physically but mentally you are stuck on this person okay like i said in the start name you know you need to change a certain mindset to move away from this person but you keep going back to them over and over again you know and this person on the other hand knows that things have ended probably because they didn't put in the work okay because they didn't put in the work they see you as someone who's still stuck on them, you know, but not taking action towards them. Yeah, because they feel that you've had too many false starts here. And you view them as someone who sabotaged the connection here, for sure, okay? And playing a lot of mind games. The action you plan on taking with the world and four of swords in reverse here. I feel that um, you're having a hard time manifesting this person back, okay? You feel this person, either you feel this person's very manipulative or... You just feel you can't manifest this person any longer. And with the world here, you're wanting to move forward. I think you want to get out of isolation, you know. I... Give me one more card the four of swords in reverse in the world here. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for the four of swords in reverse in the world here. I feel you're forced to end a chapter here, okay. You don't want to. You want to talk to this person, okay. Ace of Swords. Yeah, see, this is the clarity. You want clarity. I feel that you want closure. I don't know why. I keep getting you want closure here. You want to talk to this person, you know, with the Four of Swords in reverse here. It's the card of being restless, right? It's the card of probably even wanting to ignore something on a mental level. Maybe you are getting your own closure. Maybe you're, you have um, an idea about what the reality is, you know. You know what the truth is and you're giving yourself the understanding, the truth about what the situation is, right? And you're wanting to release yourself from the situation here. For sure. What action will this person take towards cancer moving forward?
Wow, this person's ready to be in a commitment with you. Now the nine of pentacles in reverse with the page of cups. You, this person sort of come in and communicate. Okay, the page of cups is an apology, right? So someone's coming towards you with an apology. This person has always wanted to be single all this while, okay? Single, independent, their focus is all about their finances, okay? They're all about their work, their career, their goals. They've always wanted to be the um, um, attention seeker, okay? They always want to be the... Um, the center of attraction but now this person is bored of being single okay they no longer want to embrace singlehood okay they'd rather be with you than be single and this person's coming in with that emotional communication i think it's more of an apology after an ending here with the star here this person is seeing you as a star they've put you on a pedestal but they're wishing hoping and praying that you can have a reconciliation with them they're hoping you can give them a second chance here They know that you can't walk away. See, but they just see that you're not taking action towards them. Yeah. They realize that things ended because they didn't put in the work here. They realize that. And you, on the other hand here, there is a chance of a reconciliation probably, but you're the one who does not want to take a risk yet. Okay. Tell me why is all this happening? See, I, that's why with the world in the Ace of Swords here, right? I think you have clarity about a situation and you're ready to close this chapter. You're ready to shut this chapter here. But somewhere, somehow, you're trying to... Um, you, you, this this situation, this entire situation, it's getting you to a point of uh, burnout, exhaustion, okay? But the Four of Swords in reverse is also you where you want to come out of isolation. You just want to clear the air is what I'm getting, you know? Not that you want anything else. You just want closure. You just want to clear the air with this person here. But this person, on the other hand, here king of cups wanted to come out this person has a lot of love for you but this is the shy king right he's not the best at expressing his emotions here now they're coming in with that lima's apology okay tell me why is all this happening eight of swords in reverse and the queen of swords here someone's releasing themselves from a negative mindset Someone's releasing themselves from a self-inflicted prison, okay? Someone who's always thought and focused on all the negative aspects, focused on why something can't work out with you or why something uh, or why things won't work out in this relationship rather than focusing on why it can work out, okay? This was someone who's coming in their own way, okay? But this person's releasing themselves and they're ready to talk with the Queen of Swords here. Ace of Cups, yeah, someone wants a new emotional cycle with you, okay? This is someone who wants a, a brand new beginning with you in love. They want a renewal in love. That's what you don't see coming. And I think with the Queen of Swords, yeah, this person's, um, I think this person has a lot to say, okay, but they're going to be very logical about it, you know. The Queen of Swords is someone who's very logical, right? But she has a lot of questions, a lot of, I think this person is ready to answer your questions. But I think this person out here somewhere somehow is very determined and very clear to make a decision about you. And the decision is to come out of this uh, negative mindset after this ending. Tell me what is the best possible outcome for this spread for cancer? High Priestess in Reverse and the Ace of Cups, you're beautiful. Finally, this person is going to break their silence, okay? If this person has been giving you the silent treatment here. Someone's going to break their silence here, okay? And they're going to come towards you with a new beginning in love. The Ace of Cups here, we just saw that, right? Death here. There is an ending here, but this is the death card, right? This is an ending and new beginnings, okay? So you have a brand new beginning coming up, a brand new cycle. There's a major transformation that's going on in this relationship. You know, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel this person realizes their mistake. They realize what they did wrong, okay? This could be someone who's overthinking, you know? They overthink a lot. Because of which they keep sabotaging the connection. Because that's how you view them. I mean, when they view you as the Ace of Wands in reverse here, right? This is, I mean, they, they probably even view you as someone who's lacking the passion, okay? Or they see you as someone, you know, who's just not taking action, like I said, right? Lacking the passion, lacking the enthusiasm of, and not wanting a new start, okay? Becoming, becoming bored of a situation, yeah? Because of la lack of reciproc reci um, reciprocation. Yeah, I think that's how they view you. They see you as stuck on them. 
but they see you as someone who's just like leaving things where it is because this is a situation that's going nowhere here. This person is coming in. They're ready to give you commitment. They're ready to be with you on the same page. And the outcome here is that this person is going to be talking. Okay, they're going to open their mouth and they're going to, if they, this person was holding their silence, they were holding their feelings and suppressing their feelings, keeping their feelings to themselves, they're no longer going to do that. They're going to start talking and the truth is going to be revealed. Whatever was hidden is going to be revealed. Okay. And this person just wants to start all over again with you. They do. You, on the other hand, are giving yourself the clarity, okay, without this person because it's creating a mess, okay, it's exhausting you to another level here. It's like if this person doesn't give you the clarity, you have the clarity and you just want to move on. Once this person out here is now that you want to move on, they're wanting to come towards you, okay, and they're wanting to be in a commitment with you. And all this is because they're releasing themselves from this uh, mind prison that they were in all this while. You know, where there was fear, it was a lot of, whatever they were stuck in, it was fear based. Okay. They have a splash of cold water on their face now and they have a reality check. And now this person is very determined to make a decision about you. And the decision is to want a brand new beginning with you. Okay. See queen of swords, yeah, that's communication. They're going to tell you with their words. It's going to be very truthful, very candid communication here. They could be waiting for you to come towards them and communicate, okay? Because Queen of Swords out here, it looks like she's waiting rather than, you know, like she's waiting to face whatever comes towards them. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.